Welcome to 2003. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, Tom, for my new tow rig. You can go ahead and forget all those mean things I said about third gens. But Jamie, you might be yelling at this point. Didn't you just make a video in which you said you really didn't like third gen Dodges and you thought they were pointless and overpriced and not worth it? Yeah, yeah, I did. I guess I just hadn't driven the right one yet. My friend Tom with Rocket Restorations ordered a brand new Cummins, so I guess that shows which of us is the better businessman. But anyway, he needed to retire his old truck. It cost less than I expected, although it has been well used. It's got 268,000 miles. It's in fair shape. And I decided I had to have it. Going back to that video I just made, common rails need injectors. And this one just had them done. In fact, one of the new injectors even failed and had to be fixed under warranty. That was a $3,000 job. Yeah, so, I mean, I think my criticism stands. Here's another look at the common rail, just needs injectors, 5.9 Cummins. All right, they were just done on this one. Hopefully they're good for a while. This one's a Laramie. It has just about every option you could get. Actually, it's got sport bumpers, so I guess it must be a Laramie Sport? Don't know, doesn't say either of those things on the truck. I must say, this truck is quite comfortable. It does kind of suck being kicked in the back by a five-year-old. That eh, could be worse. There's my favorite thing, seat heaters. I have wanted a Ram with these for some time. I've schemed about how to add them. My outdoorsman could well have had them. It was a standard option for that package, but it didn't. Oh yeah, I, uh, I sold my fourth gen. Unlimited power! You know, actually, this is the 305 horse HO version, and it is certainly not slow. It's fine, it's adequate. It's not as crazy as I expected, and it doesn't really have that turbo lag whoa, thing. It's just smooth, smooth power curve. I'm impressed with that. 305. I don't really like the dash styling. I actually, well, I like the second gen, I really, really liked my fourth gen, my 2014. It had the fancy dash, but you know what? It's fine, it's a truck. I'm gonna use it to haul stuff all the time, probably every day. It's about the size of a school bus, but actually handles a little better than the second gen, I'd say, as far as maneuvering goes. If you watched the Too Many Dodges video a week or two ago, you'll know I was not really sure what to do with having too many Dodges. And I was looking for an elegant solution to turn the 24 valve truck and the fourth gen into one four door truck with a diesel. Had to be quieter than the second gen, ideally a fourth gen Cummins, but they cost 40 to 50 grand now, so that wasn't really an option. At least not right now. Hey, share these videos with your friends and maybe it'll be an option soon. I don't know. Deluxe. Look. It's malls. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is actually a slight vibration in the rear end. I believe it's from the carrier bearing. The rubber's a little worn out. So I'll be doing the carrier, all three U-joints, and just saying a prayer that that fixes it. Oh, and I think it could really use some airbags. Tom says this truck has been across the country five times. He's put, oh, a hundred and... 30,000 miles on it? I don't remember, but most of those were with the canopy loaded to the roof with parts from old dealerships hauling Mopars in enclosed trailers. So it's done the work and it has performed. But somehow he did all that without airbags or even overloads. And he says that would have helped. My hope with this one is it can be a do everything truck. We can take it on family road trips, towing the camper, It'll tow cars, it'll tow trucks, it'll tow equipment. It'll do all of the things that I needed to do without issue, but it's nice enough, quiet enough, smooth enough that I can also live with it day to day and Mrs. Jamie won't hate riding in it. That's the hope anyway. I guess we'll see how it goes. Man, I'm going 10 over around this corner <laughs> while filming. God, I'm an idiot. Uh, it sure handles nice. Call the cops, call them. Uh-huh. I wonder if Miles wants
wants to race. It's very easy to go too fast in this thing. You know, my second gen, it's not like this. I mean, it's screaming on the highway. It's not that it's horrible, it's just, you know, it doesn't want to fly. This thing sure does. That guy's not going slow, I'm just going fast. Yeah, we'll just, there we go, that's better. I have not wooded this thing once yet. I'm still not. I don't need to. That's 75. You know, it's not astonishingly fast. It's, it just advances and it's smooth. I like that quite a bit. Also, I can't hear the turbo, which is weird. Well, I suppose that's all I know for now. I'll probably do a revised third gen review when I've done some seat time in this thing and I don't know, fix the vibration. See if it's as good as I think it's gonna be. It's really not even that bad. It's just, you know, it's not perfect. Anyway, if you wanna buy a cool but kinda horrible handling second gen, let me know. And thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more quick story. Tom's pretty meticulous with his stuff. He's taking very good care of this truck and anything it ever needed, it got. It's got nice tires and good brakes and it's clearly been cared for, so that's awesome. The one thing I did find in the front end that it needs, driver's side, axle shaft U-joint. You know what the second gen needs really, really, really badly? Driver's side, axle shaft U-joint. I didn't want to do that one either. <sighs> it is what it is. Beautiful day. I'm having 18th pull tomorrow, so if I'm dead for a while, that's why. There are more suggestions than actual rules. There she goes. Watching Jordan sail away with my ship. I think this was a good life choice.